All right, what's going on, legends? It's CH from Brews and Vids. Proud to welcome you to my video tutorial series on homebrew. In this series, we're going to learn how to brew a delicious brown ale. We're going to cover everything you need to brew beer, including the recipe, the hops, the yeast, the grains, all that stuff we'll be using, as well as what you need to bottle your homebrew. We're going to brew a really good beer and make it as cost-effective as possible. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I recommend doing this with a friend, maybe not watching the videos, but actually brewing. All right, guys, so first things first. What do we need to homebrew? Well... Homebrew is broken up into three different categories of needs. Here's what we're going to need to brew our five-gallon batch of our delicious brown ale. First, we need brew equipment like spoons and kettles and carboys and such. Second, we need the recipe we need, including the grains, hops, yeast, and water. And third, we need different equipment where we need to bottle things like a wing capper, bottles, corn sugar, stuff like that. But this stuff you don't need until about two weeks after you brew your beer. So I write all of my necessities up in a Microsoft Word document every time I brew, and uh, it's pretty much just a checklist, and I print this out every time I, every time I brew. I have brewed before and uh, thought I had yeast when I didn't, and it screwed up my whole batch. When the yeast was ready to put in, I found out I didn't have it. Or if you want to transfer wort into a carboy and realize you're out of star sand, it pretty much blows the whole batch. You wasted your time and your money. I highly recommend writing this stuff down and creating a checkoff list. Make sure everything is checked off too when you decide to brew. Put a recipe together and when you bottle. Okay, so part one, what do we need? Okay, so you've purchased a starter kit like this here from Brewcraft USA or maybe Northern Brewer. Now keep in mind your kits, what's inside of it might vary. So let's be a little bit more specific on what we need to brew a five gallon batch. And I'll explain more in detail which each of these things does as we progress through this tutorial series. Okay, so a six gallon glass carboy. I have mine right here in a carboy carrier. You don't need it. Just be careful when you're moving your carboy around, especially when it's full. It is glass. Next we have our 20 quart or five gallon stainless steel kettle. This thing is pretty sweet, not only for brewing, but for cooking lobsters and pasta and such. Next, we have our 32 quart or eight gallon plastic bucket with spigot. Now I had to drill the hole in this plastic for my bucket. It didn't come drilled. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna have that drilled, drill it yourself. Okay, airlock and bung. Yours might look a little different. Just make sure that they fit together and then the bung fits securely in your glass carboy. Auto siphon, this thing is awesome. It creates a natural pump so you don't have to put your mouth on it. Never do that. Pump it, maybe pump it a couple times, and let the gravity do its job. Five feet of three-eighths inner diameter vinyl tubing. Your local brew shop sells this for about a dollar a foot. I buy 20 feet at Home Depot for $7, so it's like 30 cents a foot. Thermometer, self-explanatory. But we are going to use this case, this thermometer case, uh, to test our alcohol by volume. Hydrometer, this is how we gauge our alcohol by volume. Big spoon, I have a stainless steel spoon that I stole from my ex-girlfriend. You can use a plastic spoon as long as it's boil proof. Brush, we don't really need this right now, um, but it's probably in your set. Cleaning a carboy takes some strategy and this helps out a lot, but to brew the beer we don't need the brush. You know, put the brush in our beer. Um, measuring cup. This is kind of optional. We're definitely going to need it when we bottle though. Digital scale. I bought this for $13 at Target. This helps us weigh out our hops. OxyClean. Do not buy PBW cleaner. It's too expensive. I got this whole thing of OxyClean for like 10 bucks on sale. PBW may have come with your kit. I know all the local brew shops sell it. But for future reference, OxyClean does the job just as well. Just don't confuse it with bleach. Don't clean your stuff with bleach. Bleach smells funny. Star sand, the key to the city. This is an acid-based sanitizer that's food grade. This is by far the most important part of home brewing. If you don't use this, your brew will get infection. Uh, we're gonna talk more about cleaning your, your beer equipment as we go through this in another video in this series, but just make sure you guys have all these things and you can identify what I have in my Microsoft Word document with what they actually look like in my backyard. 
All right, guys, the recipe, the second list we need to follow. Okay, so here's our grains, hops, yeast, and water. First things first, I would buy two, maybe, th I'd buy three gallons of spring water, just to play it safe. So I'd probably pause this video right now and write all this stuff down and just bring it to your local brew store and have them put it together for you. So here's our grains. We need five pounds of extract, which is in this blue little Tupperware thing, this plastic container right here on the right. Pilsner extract is pretty generic. Your brew store will have this. Okay, so now we need 0.6 pounds of special roast, 0.5 pounds of chocolate malt, and 0.3 pounds of chocolate wheat malt. I probably should have put that in ounces, but we'll make do. Okay, so make sure the employees at the brew store run your grain through the mill. Granted, it's only what? Less than a pound, about a pound of, of grain. The other grain is going to be the, the five gallon or five pound extract. The grains will break up. I'm sorry, the mill will break up the grains, exposing, exposing more sugar. We need to convert that sugar into alcohol. So don't forget to do this. And it should be free. They shouldn't charge you to run it through the mill. They should have a mill out back. Here's our hops. You can't buy the same exact amount. So they'll probably sell you two ounce bags for like six bucks. It's three dollars an ounce ish. The more you brew, the more experience you'll have. And the first thing you'll probably start doing is buying your hops by the pound. Here is a pound I have of Nelson. You get it for about 25 bucks. So it's about a buck 50 an ounce if you buy by the pound. Okay, now here's our yeast. We've got the Safe Ale English yeast. It's pretty easy to distinguish. There's only this one that's got this color on it and uh yeah so again i would just pause this video print this out and bring it into your local brew store and last but not least make sure that you get this little muslin bag which we're going to put our grains in all right guys part three on our list now keep in mind you don't need this stuff for two weeks after you brew if money is tight don't buy this stuff now wait until your next paycheck okay what we need again i created these lists because the first couple times i went to bottle i didn't have caps or star sand or maybe corn sugar uh and it just sucked so what do we need okay well we need a digital scale uh preferably with batteries and it's accurate uh corn sugar this gives us the natural co2 stores are going to sell this usually by the pound it's a couple bucks bottle caps self-explanatory um, a bottler. Okay, so when we go from our plastic jug to our bottles, star sand, of course, beer bottles and growlers. What are we gonna put our beer into? And then our did I say capper already? Our our capper. All right, guys. Well, good luck with this, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we actually start brewing. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section below. And P.S. This is probably gonna be the longest of all the videos in this series. I just wanted to. Be specific when it comes to stuff like this because I know you guys have questions out there. All right, guys, good luck with this. You're all legends. I'll see you in the next video.